Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Cradle. Today in this video, we'll discuss about some of the IT skills which are in demand in the UK and also I will discuss about their salary ranges. So all the ranges which I will mention in this video is being taken from Glassdoor. So yeah, with that being said, let's start a discussion. But before moving further, as always, if you are new here, if you subscribe to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and be a part of Programming Cradle family and also hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time when a video goes live. And if you end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. It keeps me motivated to make such videos for you guys. And I also do live streams on saturdays uh, 12 pm british summer time so do do join us there as well and you can ask all the questions there and if you have anything if you have anything else you can also post it in the comment section i'll be more than happy to reply there as well so yeah with that being said let's start our discussion so the first skill is cloud engineer with so many cloud platforms available in the market now uh, all the companies are trying to move towards cloud infrastructure rather than having their own uh, hardware so because of which this sales this skill is been uh, quite a lot of talk in the market and many people want uh, cloud engineers uh, so their average salary is around 52k uh, but then that's the average salary it can be uh, polarized because of those higher salaries which is towards 90k or something uh, so that is there and the lowest salary uh, you can get somewhere around 30k so that is there but it all depends on your experience and also the level of expertise that you have so yeah that is there if you are interested in uh, cloud computing or cloud be, uh, being a cloud engineer then this is definitely one of the skills which is in good demand in the uk and by the way all the skills which i am mentioning in this uh, video are not in any particular order so whatever you like whatever you feel most connected to uh, choose that skill and you will be successful in that if you able to gain all the relevant skills so with that being said uh, let's go on to the uh, second skill which is software developer all companies need a website or an android application or an ios application or things like that because online presence is one of the biggest thing nowadays and all the companies are looking for software developers and their average salary could be around 50 to 55k maybe more but it can go all the way up to uh, 95 to 100k also depending on your experience and the salaries start from 30k or something 35k uh, something close to that so it all depends on your experience and if you are interested into software development and if you are from computer science background then definitely it is something which you can consider and the bigger companies they pay a lot much more than 100k so yeah that's there now with that uh, let's move on to the next skill which is cyber security engineer nowadays like all the companies want to have their online presence and they are going online uh, cyber crime is also increasing because of which so a lot of hackers are here and there so they want to hack systems uh, so because of which a lot of companies are looking for uh, cyber security engineers so it is again a very shout out role which companies are looking for and if you are interested in these kind of things then definitely it is worth pursuing and uh, you can ask an average salary of around let's say 45k or something it can go all the way up to 80k and it can also start from 25k so again depending on your experience you can expect this kind of uh, salary now with that being said let's move on to the next skill which is devops engineer and nowadays like i told you all the companies want their software so it's not just about developing a software but it is also important to have a good hold over the whole software development life cycle so to have this kind of skill is again very shout out and in very good demand so if you are able to learn devops and uh, if you are if you go into the market you will be able to find something which is which can pay you a really good amount and the starting salary could be around 30 to 32k and it can go all the way up to 80k and uh, also the average salary if i have to talk about the average salary it could be around 45 to 50k so that's the kind of salary that you can expect so now with that uh, let's move on to the last but not the least skill which is data scientist uh, so yeah again data scientists are again in a very uh, good demand because companies have their product but they want to understand what their customers want uh, from their product what features are most important to them and how they can improve their business and how they can increase their profits so yeah because of which uh, soft, uh, data scientists are actually in good demand and the starting salary could be around 28 to 30k and it can go all the way up to 90k maybe more than that 
uh, an average salary you can expect around 45k it all depends on experience and also on location which where where you are working if you are in a smaller city it will be less if you are going to bigger cities it will be more so things like that uh, so yeah there you have it uh, these are the top five skills in the uk that uh, companies are looking for so if you are interested in any of those go ahead uh, pick any you won't be disappointed because it all depends on your interest if you have interest you will try to make your skills really good and you will stand out and you will be working on a lot of different projects on your own because you have interest and that will look really good to employers that you are a genuine uh, person and you are not just after money or uh, a role or a job that's all so yeah uh, i think you will be able to find something if you pick any of these uh, skills uh, with that being said if you want to download data science notes link is in the description you can download data science notes you can also join our telegram group where we have a good community we have a lot of discussions there as well and uh, you can subscribe share like and comment all those good things because it keeps me motivated to make such videos for you guys um, yeah so see you in the next video bye happy learning